Maker, this is Claire from Eclair Makery, and today I am going to be showing you how to make my ribbon candy blanket, which is a super cozy, chunky, striped crochet blanket pattern. This is the first of my patterns in my 12 Days of Christmas gifts, so if you are part of that event and you want to check out this pattern, it's available for free on my blog. Be sure to join the crochet along that I have going on in my Facebook group right now. But if you are not part of that event, then you are in for a fun treat still with this fun and super easy to make crochet blanket pattern. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like this video and then we will go ahead and get started. To make this blanket, you're going to need a few different things. You'll need three colors of Yarnspirations Burnap Blanket Yarn. I am using cream, a sage color, and burgundy plum. You can use any color combination of these, but since I'm making this around Christmas time, I wanted to go with some um, Christmas colors for my blanket. If you want to know how much you need for each size, go ahead and take a look at the pattern. It will tell you how many per skein you're going to need, but you'll need about three of the your main color and one each of your accent colors. You'll also need a size N slash P 10 millimeter crochet hook, and you'll also need some scissors. Otherwise, these are all the supplies that you'll need to make the blanket. This pattern is super fun and easy to do. It's one of the simplest blanket patterns that you'll ever make, and it's perfect for beginners and makes an awesome gift because it works up super quickly. So to start making the pattern, you're first going to be doing your chains to do your foundation for this blanket. Now this blanket is done a little bit differently than blankets normally are done. Usually blankets go by width, but we are doing this one lengthwise. So it will move up and down from um, left, from right to left. So that is how um, your, so if your blanket looks like it's super long and super big and you're like, whoa, that can't be this wide. It's not. That's how long it's going to be. And you can always make this longer too because this pattern is super forgiving and easy to do. So to start, we are going to do 100 chains of this. And this is our first little foundation part of this blanket. So we'll do 100 of these chains. Once you have done all 100 of your chains, you are going to add one more, and this is going to act as a chain one um, when you start your the first row of crocheting. So this blanket is made using the lemon peel stitch, which is a super simple um, crochet stitch pattern made with single crochets and double crochets that you alternate in between. So the first stitch in our row is a single crochet, and then the next stitch is a double crochet. Then the one after that is a single crochet. And the one after that is a double crochet. And this is all that this blanket and this stitch pattern use to make it, is alternating between single crochets and double crochets all the way down each of your rows and then you will always chain one at the end and turn to begin your next row because we're using an even amount of stitches so we will always start our rows with single crochets and always end our rows with double crochets so this is basically how the entire blanket's made it's super easy and you'll just keep doing this as you make your blanket and it will give you this really cool textured look on it which looks really fun with the um way that this blanket yarn is it really showcases this texture of this stitch really well and this is just all you need to do to make the majority of this blanket so go ahead and follow all of the color changes in the rows i'll show you how to switch colors so um, when it comes time to when you're about to switch colors on the blanket so we've done our rows of just the cream here and we're going to switch to the burgundy color um so what you're going to do is you are going to do um, the last double crochet of the round of the row but before you finish off the stitch you are going to Come over here and get your burgundy yarn. And then you are going to switch the color by pulling that yarn through. Instead of using this white yarn, you're gonna use the burgundy yarn to finish off that stitch. And then you get to 
start your next row doing the same exact stitch pattern but now we are finished so what i like to do is when i start a new color i'm not going to be carrying this cream yarn all the way across but since the um beginning rows of the colors are only one row um we're going to be using white in the next row so we are going to want to cut this yarn but what i like to do is i don't like to weave in ends and i know you guys don't like to weave in ends either so we are going to go ahead and carry the yarn for a little bit here and this will take care of the weaving in process for us without us having to do that um, at the end of finishing this blanket. So what you'll do is you'll hold your yarn on the back here up against the stitches and then you are going to take your yarn and crochet around it. So you'll have your yarn loop around these stitches um, and you'll want to make sure that it's even over here when um, it's like it's tight before you pull this yarn through as you carry it um, and then you're going to want to do this till you have pretty much just used up this end all the way and then what we'll do is we will cut the white yarn up against where we finish off the stitch so we're going to go ahead and do that right here so we've gone far enough that that end is weaved in and then we're going to get our scissors here and then you can trim this burgundy end right here and trim the white yarn and this will be where we weaved in the end this will be our back side of our work so we're going to just cut that and trim that and there you go your blanket and there you go your blanket is all weaved in with that little end and now you can continue with crocheting your blanket so then we'll join the white yarn on the next round and that's just how you can easily switch it without having to worry about a ton of ends to weave in so you don't have to carry the yarn all the way across the blanket because since we're going um, lengthwise with this instead of the usual width wise then it's just too much to carry that yarn so go ahead and this is just how you switch your yarn colors and cut your yarn and that's pretty much how you do the rest of the blanket so once you are all done with your blanket, you will have all of this fun striping on here. If you want to add a finished edging to your blanket, I am not doing it because I, uh, I think there's enough color and stripes on here. You can go ahead and just crochet um, some single crochets all the way around the edge of the border. You could also add some tassels to the end of your blanket, which would be really fun. Um, but I went ahead and just left it nice and plain so it's super cozy to cuddle with. Um, I really hope that you loved this tutorial. Be sure to check out the free pattern on my blog as well as the ad-free PDF that has more sizes than the one that's on my blog. Um, and be sure as always to hit the subscribe button if you don't subscribe to my channel already so you don't miss out on any of my videos as well as like this video so that I know that you enjoyed making this really fun pattern. I can't wait to continue to make some more fun free crochet tutorials for you and show you all the other patterns that are in the um, 12 days of Christmas crochet pattern list. If you are a part of that event, go ahead and check out the playlist that has all of the videos for this event in there. And if you are not, then I hope that you enjoy this blanket still. It's going to keep you nice and cuddly and warm all winter long. Until next time, have fun and happy stitching. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel. See you next time.